Hello. Welcome to our channel. I want to help you study and pass the board examination. Please listen to the tips and techniques for effective studying. We provide free review materials for licensure examination for teachers. You can watch some of our review related videos. We also post and upload review questions with rationalization and daily review notes in our Facebook page. Feel free to visit, just see the description box for the link. Here are the 7 effective studying technique for licensure, board examination, to help you pass the exam. Passing the board examination is very important. It is very significant in our lives, it assesses knowledge in our field, and determines the status of our learning. The result is the basis for our professional attainment. Mostly, it is one of job requirements for respectable and permanent occupation, private or government sector. Licensure examination is consists of broad topics in your profession, thus, you need to prepare for it thoroughly. The first thing you can do is to gather all reliable review materials related for the exam that you will take. Of course, you should know the coverage of the exam. Get a copy of syllabus to be aware on what particular topics you will be studying. You can use PDF or electronic books if you have available gadgets such as phones or laptops. But if you're not comfortable looking at the screen for a long time, then print the soft copy of your review materials. Second, make use of the reviewer. This means that you have to take some time to study. If you can't print the soft copy, then try taking notes of the important details about the topic you are studying. Taking note is very helpful in retaining memories. This method is what I did during my review. This method in studying requires a lot of time so make sure that you still have several months before taking the exam. Writing the details about the topic in an organized manner will help you retain the ideas. When taking notes, you are actually making your own copy, so if you want to study the topic again, you'll not rely on the soft copy anymore. You will make use of your notes, and that will help you a lot to familiarize details. You can do this method if you really want deep understanding about the topics that is unclear to you during your undergraduate years. Third, set a schedule for studying. It really depends on you how much time you want to study every day, and when do you want to study. You can set every morning, afternoon, or evening before going to bed. I cannot decide for you, because in my case, I studied whole day during my review. So, it's your decision if you want to study whole day, or just in the evening. Just choose morning, afternoon, evening, or whole day. The examination day is approaching, and you were thinking, you have limited time to study the whole topic for the exam. Worry not there's something you can do. Problem-based learning is perfect for studying a certain subject. You can do this by answering questions and checking you answers, then find out if you're wrong or right. Focus on the items you are not sure answering, find key answers, and then take note. Additionally, answer multiple choice questions. You will be trained answering that type of exam, which is exactly how the board examination is designed. Studying the whole day may be exhausting. So take a break, eat some lunch or snack, talk to your friends or family, or maybe watch a movie or videos for fun. Just make sure that you will not procrastinate. Still, you have to keep in mind, your reviewer is waiting for you. Next, practice your shading skills. This is very important to be part in your review. Shading answer sheets during exam might be one of your mistake. Better practice to make it perfect. Lastly, be aware of the protocols during exam. If you're a first time taker, you can see one of our videos which features all the exam protocols. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful. Let me know by clicking the subscribe button.